Hi there, I'm Simon St. Laurent, Senior Editor at O'Reilly Media. I'm here with Camille Fournier of Rent the Runway. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing there? And Sure. Yeah, so I am the Head of Engineering at Rent the Runway. Um, I've been there for a couple of years now. Before that, I was a uh, various technical roles at Goldman Sachs. Um, so I'm very, very into lots of different kinds of technology. Um, been in, you know, developing for a long time. I'm also a uh, member of the Apache Zookeeper community. So Great. very interested in open source in addition to, you know, fashion uh, technology. Right, kind of combining these different yes. programming and fashion and these different yes. pieces. So this morning we were at a fixing programming session. Yeah. And there were a lot of questions about increasing programmer productivity, changing the way that code runs, but you had a much more basic, we need more programmers yes. story. So what's creating programmers? How do we? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I wish I had a great answer to this, but the session was very interesting because, uh, you know, the, the main premise was if we fix these fundamental issues in, you know, in software and development, um, you know, the issues of, uh, I, I forget exactly all of them, but there were sort of these three key issues, you know, obscurity and, and whatnot. If we can fix these issues, then people will be able to write software so much faster. And, you know, my general feeling is what I would actually like to see us do is help enable many, many more people to write some software and to be right. familiar and comfortable with software um, and the development standards, you know. So my idea is that, like, look, you know, the English language, right, uh, many, many people speak the English language, not all of them are novelists. And <laughs> novelists take a long time to write the words that they write, right? It's a very long process. I don't think that people that write big software systems necessarily, you know, need to make, write them super much faster. I mean, that, that's great, right? right. So increasing development speed is, is good, but I think it's more interesting to say, let's make everyone able to speak the English language, as it were. Let's make everyone able to speak code so that more people can be exposed to it and can you know, communicate with each other in that in that language because it's so important to you know software eating the world, right? So they they can solve all of the small problems that crop up all the time. Yes. And not always be going deep. Yes, exactly. Right. You know, I think that there's always going to be a room and a place and a time when you need to write that novel software, right? Yes. You need to, <laughs> you know, you need those those authors that are just going to sit there for weeks and months and years and you know create these big beautiful systems and making their processes faster, you know, ultimately like probably what they're creating requires so much thought that the tools are a little bit less important potentially. But the w area where I think tooling can really just expand things is in the general population of like how do we get more people involved? How do we teach children to write code, right? How do we get this as a literacy, basic literacy for Americans, for example? Um, and I, that's, that to me is a more is a more interesting problem, I think, than making it so that you know someone like me, who's been writing code for a long time, can just write it a little bit faster. Right. It would if we can have people do it themselves. There's less of the communication between them and some programmer who then translates it to the computer. Exactly. And kind of takes some steps out of it. Yes. And I mean, you know, software is eating the world, right? We all we all know that software is everywhere. I used to I used to say when I was in college, like, why are you going into computer science? Well, I'm going into computer science because I know everywhere is going to need software developers. And I was even more right, I think, than I could have realized at the time. And you know, now, like at Rent the Runway, mm -hmm. we are, we're a fashion company, we're a tech company. Um, we have, we're trying to figure out a way to teach more of the people in the company how to write code. So we actually want to train you know, totally non-technical people in our fashion department, so, for so example. people who are not in IT, not programming. Yes, they, you know, because they want to learn. Like, it's mm -hmm. not even just that we want to sort of expose them, but there's an actual desire across the company to learn, you know, how do I become technically literate, at least at a basic level, mm -hmm. right? You know, at least, at least understanding. And I think that makes, that's good for me as a leader in, you know, a technology organization because that makes it easier for me to talk to mm -hmm. the business and vice versa. And I think it's just good for the company. And I think it's, you know, it's good for everyone to increase technical literacy. Where do you start teaching them? What kinds that's of... That's a good question. And I'm, that's actually something I'm not, I don't have a great answer to yet. Okay. So I'm still, you know, I'm still looking around. We're looking at the code academies of the world. And the, you know, there are a lot of great programs out there that people are starting to teach people code from various levels. Um, 
and you know I've talked to some people at Mozilla who are really into you know also software education and mm -hmm. how they teach people how to write code. So you know, is it do you just teach them HTML? That's that's something start, yeah. you know, and a lot of people that's actually useful. You know, do you teach them JavaScript, CSS? You know, do you teach them basic Ruby? Like, how do you get someone? You know, give them at least that basic literacy. And for me, I think it's really valuable because I'm very interested in getting you know more people from dif diverse backgrounds into computing. Um, I just think if we can get more people with diverse backgrounds into the industry, we'll create more creative things. Um, and so, but I think what you've got to do is you've got to give them a taste of success. Right. And so how do you get people quickly to get that taste of success? Like, oh my gosh, like I made this. Right. I, you can make this. You can say these words and can't this formula and like, you know, magic happens, right? I, I built this piece and it worked, and I built another piece and it worked, and yes. now I have this whole structure and it just keeps going. Yeah, exactly. Great. Well, wonderful. Thank you very much. Good luck in, in spreading this. I'm delighted to hear that there's a company that's really focusing on teaching this to their employees. This is great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.